Ladies and gentlemen, today I'd like to tell you the story of the time I saw Bigfoot. I was eight or nine years old. It was 1992 or 1993. I lived with my aunt, my uncle, my two cousins, and my mom. It was the middle of summer. I was on summer break. They told me to take the trash out. It was just about dusk. I wish they had never told me to take the trash out that day. Because I was taking it out. I was about to turn around and come back to the house. Out of the tree line across the street stands something that's about seven to seven and a half feet tall. It had brownish, blackish fur or hair. I can't really tell the difference. And its face looked like a mix between an ape and a Neanderthal's face. Kind of like just a really primitive looking human face. And it's standing there holding a stick that's about this thick. You might as well call it a branch. It's about seven feet long itself. And it's just standing there looking at me. And I swear I wanted to run so bad, but my body froze up on me. And my aunt, my uncle, and all of them would tell me, if you ever come face to face with a predator, don't run. It will chase you down and it will attack you. I'd say this thing's about 600 feet away from me. I'm not chancing running and making this thing come after me. It looked like it had enough muscle and power to rip a tree out of the ground and throw it at me if it wanted to. So what I did was I stood there. It looked at me. I looked at it. I couldn't see its eyes because it was too far away. But then it just kind of turned its lower body and its upper body turned afterwards. And it just took that branch and smacked it into one of the pine trees and broke it clean in half. And it kind of turned back and looked at me like, you get the message? I'm like, that scared the living crap out of me because I know for a fact nobody I know could do something like that. And then it just walked up into the wood line. As soon as I couldn't see it anymore, I jetted back into the house. I slammed the door behind me. And I fell to my hands and knees catching my breath. That's the fastest I had ever run in my life. One of my cousins looked at me and goes, you're pale as a sheet. What happened to you? <sighs> Saw Bigfoot. Saw Bigfoot. She's like, you're crazy. There's no way it could be Bigfoot. It was a bear or something like that. I'm like, we've never had any bears around here. And this thing was carrying a branch with it and walking on two feet. She's like, she goes, runs, looks out the window, doesn't see anything, of course. But after that, I did not want to go back outside anymore. I didn't want to play in the backyard. You could barely get me to go into the pool out there when there was people with me. No way I ever, hardly ever, went and played frisbee with my friends over across the street in our neighbor's yard because I saw that thing there. I'm not going anywhere near that area if I can help it. There was a couple times I'd hear tree knockings after that. And one time, I swear something was watching me, but I never saw anything. The time I saw it, I didn't smell anything. The wind wasn't blowing. There was no way I could. It was too far away from me. But after that point, no more. No more going outside by yourself. It wrecked me as a child. It did. It ruined going outside and playing outside because I always felt like something was watching me or something might happen. I never went out by myself alone after that. It's a life-changing experience when you see one of these things. I almost wish I'd never seen it. At least back then. Now, I'm more interested in it. I understand what I saw. But for a kid to see something like that, it's scary as hell.